Okay, we are here at 10 Minnetonka Road in Sea Ranch Lakes. It's a brand new listing, just getting ready to go in the MLS later today. A um, couple things about Sea Ranch Lakes. This is really one of the best, if not the best, neighborhoods in uh, Fort Lauderdale. And technically, Sea Ranch Lakes is its own city. It's a very small city. It's approximately 500 homes. Because it's its city, it's a gated community with its own private police force. So the guards at the gate are not, you know, hired um, security officers. They're actual real police officers. A um, couple of things about the town of Sea Ranch. It's just off A1A, so you're across the street from the beach. And even better, better than that is the community has its own private beach club. It was just renovated uh, completely in the last two years. Last, I don't know, last few years. Uh, it's got 300 feet of beach, uh, beachfront, huge clubhouse, huge community pool, and uh, this is really a fantastic neighborhood. All right, so now, now let's focus on the house. Um, we just walked into this big, huge living space. Um, I'll just scan back one more time. So this is what everybody loves, this big, open living space. Okay, You've got real beautiful hardwood floors here. Okay, so down that hallway there are three bedrooms. That's the entrance to the master. Got this huge covered porch. Almost like another room, or it is another room. And then this is the family room with the kitchen behind that wall there. Okay, so we're going to go see that in a sec. Nice double door entry. Um, the majority or a large amount of the windows are impact, hurricane impact. There's a couple that are not. Wouldn't be too terrible to make them all 100% impact. Okay, so family room, and are you ready? Here we go. Awesome kitchen. Huge kitchen. Tons of cabinets. Beautiful granite. Right in the middle of everything. Look at that shot of that room. Okay. Alright, so let's look at the kitchen. We've got a killer island. Um, really nice job with the two different tone cabinets. A couple of little great details. I love that with the little baskets. Um, pretty backsplash, nice fixtures. Um, you've got one sink there plus the main sink. You've got a double oven. Oh, and I wish I had done this before. You've got pull out cabinets here, here. Um, I know that one has it, that one has it, that's a pull-out pantry um, right below there. So almost every double door, I think literally every double door has a pull-out pantry, so that's wonderful. Okay. And let's just get a better sense of how this kitchen is relative to the family room. So you're making dinner, and you've got your family and your guests, they're all mingling around. Great sort of entertaining home, party house. Um, right, I'm not going to show the two-car garage. It's an oversized two-car garage um, right there. This is that pantry. I don't know if I really have to do the visual there, but just so you see all the pull-outs. That's nice. Okay. Great little detailing here with the backsplash. You know, the, the cabinets have a different height, so it's really pretty architecturally. Very well designed, no expense spared. Um, you can always tell when an owner does remodeling for their own taste as opposed to, oh, I'm going to sell it in six months, so let me cut corners here and there. Um, all right, so let's go see the rest of the house. All right. Sorry if I'm doing this too fast. Okay. The way this current owner uses it, it's really, it operates as three bedrooms and an office. This is certainly, we're calling this a fourth bedroom. Um, makes an ideal office. But you do have a closet right there. You've got a window, but more importantly than anything else, you've got close proximity to a bathroom right around the corner here. Okay, so that was office slash fourth bedroom. Okay. Secondary bedrooms, good size, two windows, so you get good light. Um, just show the closet real quick, good size closets. Okay. 
moving on. Uh, two zones of AC, one for the bedroom wings and one for the main living space, so well, well distributed. Um, okay, here's the bathroom. So you've got nice floors. Vanity, big vanity. Okay. Coming back out. I open this just so you can see that the electric's been upgraded, so that's a nice thing to not have to worry about. Okay. Our second bedroom we're seeing, or I guess third bedroom is second kids' room. Um, good light in here. That's not a little too bright. This bedroom has its own private bath. Nicely built out closets. Let's go see the bathroom. Okay, pretty vanity here. Granite, nice wood. I don't want to show myself in the mirror. Okay, toilet was changed out when that was done. Nice glass shower door. Good fixture, the nice rain head. Am I showing that? Yep, okay. Alright, so let's scan this bedroom one more time. Sorry if I'm making anybody dizzy. Okay, and this is a joke I always say. This is what happens when you let your kids pick the colors. Alright, I'm just kidding, just kidding. Alright, so let's go see the master. Um, so we saw two bedrooms with two bathrooms. Third bedroom here, or I guess what we'll call the fourth bedroom office. One more scan of the monster living space. Look how big this room is. I wish I had measured it before, but I'm going to guess from here to the start of the family room, it's got to be 35 some feet, maybe 40 feet. It's a very wide room. Um, I mean, you know, you got a baby grand piano just kind of blending in. All right, killer porch. We're going to see that in a second. Really nice master suite. I gotta move this along because we're gonna run out of time. Um, it's big. Look how long that wall is to there. And then this owner had this built out, all permitted. So you've got a nice sitting room. And this could make a really good office swing. You could have um, some gym equipment in here. And when they did that, they expanded the bath and did a really nice big closet. So you've got a nice uh, high double vanity there. Um, you've got a big shower, nice fixtures, and a separate tub. Plus, see, that was a really good idea. You've got really good storage in there. Okay, so you've got the jacuzzi tub, storage, window for light, big vanity. Look at all that storage. That was very smart. And I'm going to show that closet again because it's a nice feature. And a big shower. Nice tile there. Okay, this is what everybody loves. Big closet. And as nice as it is, if you have like a California closet built-in system, I mean, you could just have a ton of shelving here. So, really big space. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go see this porch. Whoa, sorry, I'm walking a little fast here. Okay. So, half the year you can live out here. It's screened. Huge space. Um, and the way it's set up, this is cool. Like, this sliding door pockets back in. Let's give actually a quick little demonstration if I can't. Nope, it's locked. Alright, so that they'll all slide back into there and then this would all be open. Um, this, this sliding door pockets as does this. Okay. I'm going to go outside. Okay. And we'll scan back around here because so I'm not going to have time to show it again. Okay. Um, professionally landscaped. Big yard. There's no pool. There's really tons of room for a pool. Um, a lot of homes in Sea Ranch don't have pools. They were never built with pools because of the clubhouse on the beach and the community pool. And that's just what a lot of people use. All right, I just got a couple seconds. Um, beautiful landscaping. So nice and private. These are all fishtail palms. Another year or so, they're going to get really tall, so you'll feel like you're in your own little oasis. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.